Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to make a quick little intro to tell you guys what I'm doing. I have to ship off um, some milk to the lady that I sell to and I just wanted to show you guys basically how I package it and ship it off and everything. So um, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick little intro. I'm literally, all I'm doing is running errands today so I have a hat and like a sweatshirt on and yeah, that's basically why I just look like this. But I want to show you guys how much I am selling to her this week. Usually we do 350 ounces every two weeks, so it equals 700 ounces at the end of the month. So yeah, I'm shipping off to her today before Thanksgiving hits, so she'll have enough. And yeah, that's what I'm going to be showing you guys, so let's get started. Okay, so this is what my freezer looks like right now. Um, these are some fresh ones that I think I can still ship out. But I hope that they don't spoil. I'm going to text her just to warn her. But this is 380 ounces. So I'm just going to package this up right now. This is the container that I usually use every single time. It's a Husky container. And then I just have six pounds of dry ice in there. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like once it's all done. If you can see, there's little just like air pockets so that the dry ice can kind of move around and then it can shut. Um, usually the UPS tapes it up for me because um, I trust them taping it better than I do. Okay, so here's a very crucial part um, if you're working with dry ice ever. You need to put holes in it if it's in a closed container like this. So usually I'll just take a pen or um, a screwdriver and I just poke holes all around it so that they go all the way through. The dry ice needs a place to, to escape so that, um, that it won't like pop basically. So usually I just poke like three in the front, a few in the sides, one in the back. One on the top. So I know in a few places, um, styrofoam is like banned. So um, one time that happened to me when I was out of town and I had to use like a big plastic tote. And then they, um, when I took it to UPS, they basically put it inside of a, a little bit bigger of a cardboard box. And then they put like those little styrofoam popcorn things around it to keep it like insulated. So you guys could do that. You guys could always do that. The very first time that I sold milk to this lady, I really I needed a really big box and I couldn't find any styrofoam containers anywhere. By the way, Smart and Final is the best place to get styrofoam containers if you guys have that near you. So literally I had to use um, an ice chest and then they just shipped the ice chest. It was a little bit pricey just because the ice chest was heavy, but that also works. If you really don't have anything that you can ship off it in, it was just a little bit heavy so it bumped the price up a little bit. But yeah, I'm about to go to the UPS store right now and ship it off and then I'll show you guys basically like how much it costs. She lives four hours away from me, so it's not too bad. I know that if you're sending out of state and stuff like that, it does... Um, it does cost more because I have shipped out of state. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys how much it costs. And dry ice usually is around $2 per pound. I get six pounds. And then the container was $11. So it's not too bad. Okay, hey guys, so I am back home now. It's a little bit later in the day. And um, I have like my receipt right here. I'm not gonna show you guys because it has like her address and stuff on it. But I wanted to tell you guys the total price and like how heavy it was. So it was 33 pounds and 2 ounces, but they have to charge me for 35 pounds. And so basically the shipping fee was $26.49 and, and then like the additional handling fee was $15.50. So the total price came out to 
42.19 that's like including tax and stuff. So the first time that I went and shipped milk out, I went through the post office and I did overnight shipping there. And it ended up being like $200 to get to her. And so um, then I started going through UPS and I started just doing basic like ground shipping. And it still gets there next day, but you just basically don't have to pay the price just because she's so close. But yeah, um, I was going to like show you guys basically me in the post office, but I'm in and out of there so fast since I go there so often. They already know what to do. I basically just drop it off, pay and leave. They don't need any of my information or anything. So I didn't think that you guys needed to see that. But yeah, that's basically how I ship my milk out and how I package it and just stuff like that, just information. If you guys are interested in doing this, I highly suggest it. It's super beneficial to other babies, to you. Even if you're not wanting to sell it, to um, donating it is awesome. So I highly, highly suggest that. Um, I think that that's awesome. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about how I do this, I know that there's not a whole lot of information on YouTube because when I first started doing this, I literally did not know how to do anything. I didn't know how to package it. The first time that I sold, I used gel like little pods and I don't think that, that that was the best idea. I think that it's the best idea to go down the dry ice route because it keeps it more fresh for longer. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Um, like this video if you guys want to see more videos like this or if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff and subscribe down below if you guys want to see more of me and Paisley's life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!